I don't know if we're exactly in the right spot, so I'm going to draw a straight line here and a straight line across. That wasn't a straight line. That is. This line is not in in this component, so it's totally separate, which is good if you're just using it for marking. Now we can line up. Oops. Got to go back. I didn't see that little end piece on there. You can scroll in and see all those little things have to be taken care of. Now here, you can see we still don't have a face even though we connected it. We still don't have a face on this fin. Usually that means you need to find the point where it's intersecting and just go up a little bit along one of the lines and that'll give it to you. Then you can get rid of these other lines usually without a problem. Alright, now we have this component. Now let's make this a component and click it a couple times create and the difference here is now we can open that component select the whole thing hold control so we're copying it along an axis and then right click on it and flip it along the red direction or whatever direction it happens to be that you want to flip it on if you don't get it right the first time just hit undo and try a different one and then we're gonna lock it there and now that we have both of these together we can delete this middle line and we'll still have a solid face because the middle lines no longer need it and earlier we made this all the drawings a component so now we can click on all the drawings Is it? and hide them to see where we're at so far looks pretty good at this point what I would normally do is find the halfway point select I mean um, draw a line through the middle of one of the components find a halfway point go up an eighth if these were going to be intersecting you know this file is actually pretty big I mean this ship okay it's actually too big can't even work with it. it you know it's supposed to be an eighth of an inch and it looks so small so I need to unhide everything so unhide all make sure you're not in any component when you try to unhide it because it won't unhide it or it won't hide yeah it won't unhide it if you're lock if you're uh, select it into a component so let's just uh, let's put a measurement here that's huge and let's just hold down control and uniformly scale this down to something decent. Oops. See, I didn't select the ship that time. Let's so, say there you go, 25 and a half inches long. That should be plenty big. Now let's hide this. Let's try this again. Find the midpoint. Go up an eighth. Now we can easily see the eighth. Go underneath of it, 
on the same spot. Oops. Find an eighth. And remember, you uh, you don't have to click out of the uh, pencil tool to go between the rotate tool and the pencil tool. Now, this is our um, this is one of our slot intersecting slots that we're going to have. And when we cut this out of foam, we're just going to slide this this piece here, the side piece, into the into the uh, main body. They're both going to have intersecting slots, so you can see that we need at this point to delete this back line, this back line. We don't need the middle one anymore. We don't need this middle one anymore. Okay, now we have a we have an open slot on one end. We have to do the same on this one on the opposite side. Go out an eighth. Bring it out to the nose. The, if your line turns purple, that means you're parallel to whatever the, the last line that you hovered over for a minute was. If I hover over this, I say oh, I don't have a line to do it. But if I select this line, and when the word turns on edge or whatever, you hover it over for a second. When you come over here, if it's not on an axis, which this one is, it would turn purple. But now you can get rid of these. And that is. Now we have two intersecting pieces of foam to make the start of our airplane.